Jing Ben. Lou Reed would invite us to his apartment and insult us for a solid hour, particularly me, the clothes I was wearing, or my shoes. Then, after that, he'd start to more reasonable, to be more reasonable, and actually have agreeable conduct. When we started, Lou told us we were morons. You'll get eaten up. There are barracuda there. You won't last a second, he said. By late spring, Burn was able to quit his day job. Weymouth had been laid off at the end of December. As when France quit in June, all three were full-time musicians. Talking heads were making an impact on the burgeoning New York scene. Theirs was a somewhat unsettling presence in the Voice Choices column in the May 24 Village Voice, Robert Christgo gave Talking Heads this rather odd recommendation. Hmm? The seagull stalks, talks to his shrink on two couches this week, Wednesday at Max's Kansas City, Thursday through Saturday at CBGB. In August, Byrne played guitar behind John Cale at the Lower Manhattan Ocean Club in a pickup band that included Lou Reed, Mike Ronson, poet rocker Patti Smith, and Alan Lanier of Blue Oyster Cult. This was the art rock equivalent of dinner at the White House. Talking Heads were a happening band. Hmm? Uh -huh.